This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday morning, the 29th of January. A messy winter storm rolling along Interstate 40. Will there be any ice down into extreme North Alabama? Interesting question and a lot to talk about. Let's get right to it this morning. We'll take a look at the Skycam shots around the network. First off, coming from Tuscaloosa. That's looking east from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Temperatures down there are near 40. Uh, the Huntsville Skycam, we wonder if that highway, Memorial Parkway, will be on ice late tonight or early tomorrow. It's going to be a close call up there and a very tight gradient. Uh, it could be that the problems are just north of there, or maybe they could extend as far south as Hunts Huntsville. And the same thing for Decatur. They're right on the edge of this icy and snowy mess north of here. And there you go. Big southern stream system coming in. Northern branch delivering very cold air troubling combination and again there's our numbers we are well above freezing down here uh, Birmingham at 38 Tuscaloosa 42 and uh, flirting with freezing up around Haleyville and Muscle Shoals uh, but we'll stay above freezing uh, all day today and uh, through much of the night tonight really it might be tomorrow night before we go below freezing down here in Birmingham but uh, just north, it's cold. That red line, that's your freeze line at the surface. And you can see that it's running through Little Rock and Memphis and uh, just uh, north of Huntsville. And uh, north of that red line, it's going to be an icy, snowy mess today and tonight. Yeah, we've got winter storm warnings all the way from Amarillo to the Atlantic coast of North Carolina and Virginia. All of Tennessee. Now, extreme North Alabama is under a winter weather advisory for the possibility of some icing problems in Muscle Shoals and Huntsville and Scottsboro. And the rest of Alabama, a flash flood watch. Goodness gracious. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be soaked down here with a very cold rain tonight. Well, there's our storm. And uh, again, you can see the uh, precipitation tapering off in Oklahoma this morning, but increasing over Arkansas. Uh, some uh, rain moving into the Mississippi Delta. And we will deal with that later today. The rain should begin uh, sometime this afternoon. Looking for snow? Try that zone right there, the red zone. Uh, greatest chance of the big snows will be uh, over northern parts of uh, Arkansas and uh, Tennessee from Interstate 40 north over into the uh, Great Smokies. Boy, wouldn't you love to be in a cabin up there in uh, Gatlinburg or somewhere watching the snow come down? And there's your real problem right there. That's the ice zone. Uh, look for the red there that it gets Memphis, almost Muscle Shoals. Uh, and uh, the mountains of North Georgia could be problematic, areas north of Atlanta. But again, we think for the big cities, uh, Birmingham and Atlanta, uh, they will deal with mostly rain from this thing. And there's the QPF chart, uh, one to two inches of rain likely. I don't think we have a real big flooding problem uh, with that flash flood watch up. Uh, there could be some localized problems, just kind of a big old rain tonight. Let's look at modeling. This is the... GFS, this is the 06Z run at noon today. And there's your trough over Texas. Let's just get down below that and take a look. This is the uh, look at uh, 12 noon today. And the, the low-level thickness values are pretty low down here initially. But again, which and one thing about that, at the onset of this, don't be shocked if you hear some reports of ice pellets. Now, a little sleet, that's not problematic freezing rain is your problem that's rain that falls when it's below 32 that won't happen down here today maybe a few ice pellets as it begins then it's just all rain six o'clock we should be in a steady rain uh, memphis boy it's problematic up there that could be a really really messy ice snow type stuff midnight tonight soaking rain falling here cold rain and again from huntsville north look out tennessee looks really 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 ugly up there in terms of ice and snow. Tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock, the whole thing begins to wind down for us. And we'll still stay above freezing. Uh, I don't think we have any icing issues in the Birmingham metro tomorrow morning. And then at uh, noon, flurries. It's going to be cloudy, windy, and cold. We'll be in the 30s all day with uh, wind chill index values below freezing and snow flurries. And even uh, tomorrow at 6 o'clock, uh, the chance that we could still see a few snow flurries over East Alabama. Look at the uh, RPM, look at this thing, and here it comes. And again, you can see the RPM model shows all rain for us, and we're going to stick with that in our forecast with the possibility of the thing tapering off into a few flurries maybe uh, on the backside. There's the snow accumulation look from the NAM. You can see all just north of here. 
and the GFS almost identical. Excellent agreement. So, again, Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, mostly rain with snow flurries tomorrow. Uh, once you get up there, Huntsville, Muscle Shoals, Scottsboro, maybe Fort Payne, you could see some icing uh, on the bridges uh, tomorrow morning. So be very careful if you're traveling up that way. All right, Sunday, everything's gone. We'll be cold. Low 20s in the morning. We'll warm up into the 40s. And Monday, we should see a high up uh, around 50. We'll stay dry. Little impulse Tuesday may be producing a little light rain, but again, the, the latest runs have not shown very much with that. Uh, Wednesday, we're dry. And Thursday, here comes the next trough in the southern stream. And down below that, uh, things get wet. And Friday, things get real wet. You can see that new low reforming on the Atlantic coast. And we'll have to watch the thermal values there. Again, for now, we'll just leave it as rain uh, at the end of next week. And that could be a pretty wet system, another one to two inch type rain. And then Saturday, the 6th of February, uh, the storm moves away and we would be dry. We'll go to the 11th, another southern stream system. The old surface low right over us. That looks awfully wet. And on the 13th, again, some evidence of that ridge trying to pump up over the west and a trough trying to form over the east. And uh, it looks pretty cold. But by golly, if this is right, it's going to be real cold. The Arctic Oscillation just goes almost down to the bottom of the chart there at mid-month. So the operational GFS, uh, I don't know, sometimes has to catch up to that. So again, the idea of a cold shot at mid-month is still on the table based on that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.